Harley sales are down for 2019. Are the company still on track for a recovery? Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Health. Hope you're enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatorhealth.com. So in this video, I'm talking about Harley Davidson who have just released their financial report uh, for 2019. And that was just released on the 28th of January, 2020. Um, now, as many predicted, the international sales and domestic sales have uh, dropped, uh, but also parts and accessories have dropped and merchandise have dropped as well. However, according to CEO Mark Levitich, they're still on track for this More Roads program and they're probably seeing, uh, they're, they're forecasting to actually turn this around in 2021. They're looking at greater investment in the electric uh, motorcycle sector uh, and potentially more models coming out uh, in that range as well. They've also got the Pan America and the Bronx uh, motorcycles to come as well, uh, which are intended to boost sales. But so far, all the models and all the improvements they've made uh, in the 2020 motorcycles and the ranges uh, have not had any kind of impact at all. They're also looking at uh, emerging markets as well, where they, where they consider by 2021 and beyond uh, that the emergency markets will account for over 20% uh, of the markets. And then by 2027, they're looking at 50% uh, of uh, total Harley Davidson revenue. Uh, and they're also looking at uh, the small displacement engine that is being produced in conjunction with uh, a Chinese manufacturer as well to be sold in that market. So potentially there is a lot of room for growth, a lot of room for international sales, but not necessarily in the traditional heartlands from uh, Harley Davidson. Okay, let's uh, look at uh, the financial figures here. So uh, if we're looking uh, from 2019, uh, the sales of motorcycles in the United States is 125,960, which is a 5.2% drop from 2018. The European market saw sales of 44,086, uh, and that's a 5.4% reduction. Now, the Asian Pacific uh, market uh, saw uh, 29,513 sales, uh, which is an increase of 2.7%. And Latin America actually saw sales of 9,768, uh, which is a, a drop of 3.9%. Canada, 8,946, which is 7.7% uh, reduction. And then Total international sales were 92,313, uh, which is a drop of 3%. Uh, and total worldwide sales, if you want to consider that, uh, is a 218,273, uh, which is a drop of 4.3%. So basically, over, over the, uh, the United States, just over 5% reduction. Uh, the rest of the world is uh, just about 3%. So in total, it's about 4.3% uh, reduction. So motorcycle shipments uh, was actually down by uh, over the whole uh, globe uh, by 6.4% uh, to 213,939. Now, just based upon the uh, Q4 figures, fourth quarter figures, uh, actually uh, the company uh, was uh, registering uh, 874.1 million uh, in revenue versus 955.6 million uh, the same period uh, of, of 2018. Um, so we know that there are aging uh, riders, there are aging riders who are not buying the motorcycles anymore and we know that they are struggling to attract the new riders. So that's why they have uh, embarked on this new rider initiative, rider incentive uh, program. They're gonna have lots of things to try and retain new riders as well. One of the interesting things is that whilst uh, in the Q4 results, 
that Harley have reduced their sales and income by, let's say, 5 6%, up to 8%. Uh, Indian have actually increased their um, performance by over 30%. Now, whilst the figures are not uh, equal in, in any way, shape, or form, but in terms of um, increasing or decreasing as percentages, uh, certainly Indian are on the rise. Now, Harley is still pinning a lot of their market share on the Taurus range uh, in the United States. But actually, what they're looking at more and more so is this new roads uh, to Harley ownership. And they're looking at the global perspective and also looking at international sales as really boosting the company. And potentially a lot of that sales or those sales are going to come from the small displacement engine that is uh, based uh, out in the Far East in China. Now, Matt Levitich, uh, CEO of uh, Harley Davidson, speaking on the release of the uh, financial reports, uh, was quite buoyant actually. It was talking about uh, the the new uh, More Roads program, the rider incentive program, the amount of riders that they've managed to gain. Uh, so they've gained 527,000, uh, but that's over 55,000 more riders. But that means that they've basically lost 470 odd thousand riders as well. Um, so while when he was asked about that, there was also uh, buoyant in the fact that they still gained uh, 55,000, and many people leave the brand for lots of different reasons, not necessarily for the, the product quality. Also very buoyant about the uh, future of electrification and the new models of Pan America and the Bronx coming out. And they are looking at the 2021 market where they will look at uh, turning around their financial woes, if, if you will. And they're saying that the, the plans that they've put in place over the last year, year and a half, they will come into fruition uh, for 2021-2022. They fully expected these results. They had planned for these results. And it, uh, it's, it's all part of the process. Now, obviously, uh, Harley-Davidson are not just selling motorcycles or parts and accessories. They're selling a lot of merchandise, and it's also the brand. The brand has a lot of value, and the e-commerce of that uh, brand uh, has a lot of value as well. And in fact, a lot of uh, their uh, products are sold on platforms, let's say, like Amazon. And uh, 75, they're claiming that 75% of people who purchased Harley products on Amazon were new to Harley-Davidson uh, as well. Uh, so they're getting a lot of data they're getting a lot of market research and they are making progress in certain regards in terms of the whole uh, company but certainly on uh, the product which is motorcycles but also in the merchandise and also the brand the brand is key for uh, for harley davidson in terms of long-term uh, future so there you have it. That is the uh, breakdown for the financial report of 2019 from Harley Davidson. Uh, there has been some losses in market share and also from sales uh, all around the globe, apart from Asia. Uh, but they are buoyant about the prospects of 2021 with the new models, with the electric motorcycles as well, and also increases in uh, merchandise and also their branding and e-commerce as well. So there you have it. Let's see what happens uh, in the future. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below and catch you again. Ta-da.